All right. So today I want to talk about the map view, um, specifically about the different constraints you can apply to the map view. Now, every now and then uh, a question comes up about how can I uh, change the way that the zoom behavior uh, acts when I'm uh, zooming in my map, or um, how can I limit the map so people can't pan the map outside of a certain area? Um, how can I limit the entire map so I can't zoom in past a certain point? Things like that. So these are constraints that you can apply to your views uh, that we're going to go over today. So it should be pretty quick, but also very useful. All right. So here we've got the uh, documentation on the map view. If we go down to properties and we check out constraints, uh, we're going to see some options that we have. The first one you see is going to be LODs. Now, I do not use this one pretty much at all. I think I've used it maybe once. But if you need uh, to define some LODs for your map, and or maybe you want some custom LEDs, um, you can go ahead and define those. Normally, this is going to be uh, defined by the base map. And if you don't have a base map, maybe you're just showing uh, feature layers, something like that, you can go ahead and create LODs if you want. But you normally don't need to do this. I've seen a few people that had to, but it's not something that you would do very often. Uh, one thing I do see people do quite a bit is going to be a geometry, right? So you can go ahead and limit the extent of the map uh, that you could pan around to a certain geometry. So let's say, for example, I don't want people to zoom or be able to pan past a certain area right here. So I can go and say that the, uh, let's do this here. When my map, when my view is ready, I can go and say that view dot constraints dot uh, geometry is going to be equal to view dot extent. And I'm going to clone it. I, I don't think I need to, but that's one of those things I kind of like to do every now and then. Okay, so I've cloned it. So now uh, it's going to limit how far I can go ahead and pan the map, right? And you see it's like a little, the actual extent itself is a little bit more of a buffer. Um, but yeah, so I can go past a certain area. Normally you'd use this as something like a, uh, maybe a min scale. So I can also do view. We didn't get to that yet, but constraints dot min scale equal to view dot scale. So whatever it is, as soon as I load the map, that's going to be the limitation there. So now I can zoom in past a certain point, but I can't zoom out uh, anymore, right? So I kind of lock that in. And maybe something else you want to do is maybe you do want the min scale or the start of the max scale. So the maximum scale users are allowed to zoom into. So, okay, let's do that. Let's do, we actually define that in the map view when we create it. So we'll do constraints. And we're going to go ahead and say the uh, max scale. And I don't know, uh, what's a good 35,000? Is that too small? That might be too small. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's see here. If I zoom in, there we go. Now I can't zoom in past a certain level. And for this particular map, maybe it's not worth it to be zooming in that far. I'm using a dot density render here, so I probably want to limit the uh, amount that someone could zoom in. So that's pretty useful. Now I zoom out, and I can't zoom out past a certain level, and I can't pan the map past a certain area. All right. There are other ones in here too, so min zoom and max zoom are going to kind of behave the same way. Another one that's pretty nice is snap to zoom. So you'll notice here, as I am zooming in, I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom in, and I'm kind of locking into the LODs when I'm, I'm zooming the map. And that's the, the default behavior, right? So you can turn that off. I can go ahead and say, snap to zoom, false. So now when I go ahead and I zoom in, it's more of a, a smoother experience. Now, people have asked, like, why isn't that the default uh, behavior? Well, because the snap to zoom as fault as true has uh, always been that way. And if just kind of changed that, it would kind of mess some stuff up. So, yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's how you can go ahead and play with some of this stuff. Um, it defines it here as when true, the view snaps the next LOD. When zooming around, when false, the zoom is continuous. So it's a continuous zoom when you turn it on false, which is... Uh, you know, it doesn't apply uh, when you're using two finger pinch out on a, on a phone, but yeah, that's kind of the way that works. 
All right, so yeah, I just wanted to cover a few things that you can do with the view constraints that you might want to try out. Um, some of the ones, the ones that I think are pretty useful, but again, you can limit the, the zoom, you can limit by scale, limit that extent uh, with the geometry so they can't uh, pan around a certain way. And it doesn't have to be an extent, it could be a polygon too. So whatever you have that you want to limit to. So give it a shot, try it out. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you. I just want to let you know that I've started a new podcast called The Bounding Box, where I'll be talking about geo development, web development, and everything in between. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and plenty of other places that you can find podcasts. Um, there are a few episodes available now. We are in a bi-weekly schedule, so every other week. Thank you.